The hallways at Central Middle School are packed full of Hueslico ISD teachers. You're gonna see have some open response there. The educators are here for a two-day differentiated instructional fiesta, a conference to fit the needs for all students who learn material in different ways. Basically is the first conference that Westlaco ever actually facilitates for our own teachers. Uh, we currently have uh, over 400 participants um, in our sessions right now. Direct, they need more direct assistance. We hope teachers leave here today and tomorrow with at least one idea and hopefully a whole pocket full of ideas that they can take into their classroom to better meet the needs of our students. You can either write it down or you can think of the kinesthetic learners. You can use your body to help you remember. Today's teaching methods requires creativity, ways to keep scholars enthusiastic about learning. Correct answer is the diagnosis. What is well, the check out this right setting here. It looks like intense surgery is taking place, but actually, these are all teachers dressed in scrubs dissecting an interesting and fun way to review for a big exam. This is the operating room and each, each group is working on a patient, uh, which would be the test, and they're trying to find a cure to the STAR virus that um, is the benchmark test. The STAR exam is for students 3rd to 12th grade and is the most important test of the year. This method is geared to take some pressure off students and pave the way to success. It was exciting. Um, that, that's good. I like that. I really do. This helps to differentiate the instruction because all students are actively engaged when they are reviewing the test versus a teacher sitting behind a desk. Empowering students to the next level helps when fun is added to the equation. Sometimes that requires dancing to the beat of learning. We need to be pumped up so that they are pumped up at school because sometimes they're um, not ready to come back to school. And sometimes it's the little things that make the difference, like feeding off a teacher's energy or communication with others, which is another valuable tool during the training. I thought they did a really good job in motivating us, um, first of all, because as teachers, I mean, we also need the motivation, and that way we can take it back to our kids and motivate them. Through the two-day conference, there's also a sense of eagerness to get back into their classroom. I'm ready. I mean, it was restful summer, but I'm ready to go back. Yay! And then you summarize. For KWS TV, I'm Mike Gonzalez.